Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I introduced you as Jeremy, but if I asked you, who is Jeremy Sand, what would you answer? Mm, I'm a pretty boring uh, IT guy who lives near Atlanta and really likes basketball, really likes disc golf. And uh, that's about all there is to know about me. You're very humble. If I asked you the same question in Latvian, Kas ir Jeremy Sands, would you answer the same way or differently? I think I'd have to mix it up because I have about 1% the vocabulary in Latvian that I do in English. So I would say, es esmu Americanis Veers, es esmu Luoti Garleitsigs, un estradaju ar datori, es esmu dator silvex, es nezinu. Un man ļoti pārtīk basketballs un disku golfu. Wow, you did it! You did it better in Latvian. It's better in Latvian, all right. Yes. Why? Why Latvian? Why do you have this interest in Latvian? I guess I want to prompt that. Sure. In I didn't until 2008 when I met a young woman named Marta who studied at my college in Nebraska. So. You know, was aware of the existence of the country, but and I, I knew about Riga existing, and that was about it. Um, couldn't tell you a, a thing about it beyond that. Um, so we dated uh, fall of '08, and I think we both figured, you know, that was it. It was just a you know, exchange student meeting someone at the college she was staying at, and that would be the end of it. And it was not the end of it. Um, we both definitely wanted to see each other again uh, afterwards, and. Uh, very quickly after she left, I like got a passport and made my first trip outside the U.S. to Latvia, and uh, yeah, that's it. We've been married. Uh, let's see, eleven and a half years now, and uh, I've done some Latvian learning. Admittedly, not as much as I would have liked to have, but um, I know some things. Yeah, you you definitely do. You know enough to analyze a rap song, which is amazing. And this is the reason why we are meeting today to discuss it. So um, for the audience, I will explain that uh, Jeremy has written an article, uh, a Reddit article, which is called the Porzingis rap. And uh, the article was the Porzingis rap, rap seven years later, because the rap song was uh, written seven years ago, right? And in in that article, you analyze the song, but before you ask your audience to uh, read the article, you actually ask them to listen to three rap songs first. <laughs> who are those people who read your article? You had quite a few, quite a lot of uh, clicks, up upvotes, I noticed, and even a lot of comments, I think 15 comments, which is quite amazing for this complex article. So what it, who, who are those people? Sure. So Reddit is a kind of social news and discussion website. Um, some of it's super simple, like sharing pictures of cats. Some of it is incredibly detailed, you know, serious, sincere discussions of politics that aren't just screaming. And some of it is a mix of both. Some of it is entertainment and analysis and discussion. And I think that um, the NBA subreddit is kind of all of that. Um, so this is a just a subsection of the site or a subreddit that's dedicated to the NBA. My audience is uh, just anyone who's on that subreddit. I am going to definitely share the link to that article because everybody who is interested in uh, learning Latvian, I definitely recommend reading it. It's very well written, very analytical. So I will ask you more about what was the process you were going through while analyzing the song? I think after learning a little bit of Latvian, um, I kind of got to a point where I could understand a few things, I guess. For the longest time, I would describe my level of Latvian as like being able to order a sandwich in a cafe or something. But learning a few more words, you know, I worked through a, a book on Latvian and it came with a couple of CDs. And once I knew a little bit more, that was around 2015 when uh, Porzingis was drafted and when this song came out. And I kind of became suspicious of the song and I was just like, this isn't 
a sincere tribute to Porzingis, is it? And Marta was like, no, they're totally like clowning on him. And not in a mean way. They're just, it's just a parody song and he's the subject of the parody. And so that was kind of funny. And then after a while, I kind of realized that no American NBA fans understand this. Um, like I pointed out in my article, ESPN ran this song in an ad for a Knicks game. And it's the part where they're, they're talking about how everyone mixes up his name. And they have no idea this is not a Porzingis hype song. This is a parody of a sincere tribute song. And it's kind of poking fun at him and, you know, him getting drafted so high and all that. What was the funniest thing about the song that you uh, figured out? Um, I mean, early on, they, they use the phrase Dowdzak now does, which to me, you know, I, I run into this with Marta a lot. I think non-native speakers are really tickled by very simple puns in the new language for them. So I'll run one by Marta sometimes that wouldn't even get a chuckle out of most Americans and she'll think it's just the funniest thing ever. And some of that is, you know, being able to make that connection that, you know, you certainly couldn't make when you were first learning the language. And Dowzak now does, you know, it's an easy one to get. It's it's very formulaic. You know, it's it's the um, it's the bigger prefix or the er prefix in Latin or suffix in Latvian, I should say suffix. And so it it makes sense and you realize that it's you know, intentionally violating grammar rules and, you know, just absurd. Right. And I'm always so fascinated by uh, the learn, uh, learners of Latvian, especially uh, people like you who are not native speakers. You don't have any roots. You just had this urge to learn the language of your partner, which is which is amazing. Those people uh, really, really, uh, I admire you and people who do that why why to go through all that complexity sure i think there's a few reasons um i suppose the shallow reddit answer is you know to get all those imaginary points on reddit um anytime you post something on reddit and you know you get those upvotes you get these credits added to your tally that are completely meaningless and not used for anything but um, the other answer was, you know, I found this interesting and I thought a lot of NBA fans might find it interesting to know like, Hey, by the way, this isn't a hype song. This is more like a weird Al Yankovic song, you know, to use an American, uh, comparison. And so, um, I thought I would try and share that with them and kind of show them that. And it also, you know, for me is a vehicle for learning more Latvian. Um, I definitely dug into the lyrics more than I ever had, um, you know, really put them under a microscope and made sure I was hearing them correctly, made sure I was translating them correctly and trying to catch the, you know, the inherent jokes or the rhymes between both videos, possible puns, things like that. I would say I probably wrote half of it in one sitting in maybe half an hour, but then the rest of the work is really spending the time to translate all of it. Um, you know, watch all the videos a few times, make sure I'm catching all the points of interest and you know and then bug marta about the 15 questions i have about the very specific things um among the lyrics i think it's quite difficult to figure it out because it's not the dictionary la language so. yeah um you're right rap songs are not pulled from <laughs> dictionaries a lot of times that's absolutely right um there were definitely a few places where she pointed things out that i had no idea um I trusted ESPN when they put those words on the screen that they were using the exact correct tense. And I just assumed like they paid some Latvian 40 euros to tr translate two lines for them. Mm -hmm. um, it's now clear that they didn't do that and that they use Google Translate to do that. And she even pointed out like, because I had it written just matter of factly, like they even knew how to translate this. And Marta's like, well, actually they didn't because they used the wrong tense and it should be this. Um, she or use of Spaley instead of spele so yeah. um and i i didn't know that i i assume they at least did their due diligence on the literal translation but they didn't even do that and so that now now it's really clear you know why they missed all the all the <laughs> jokes yeah true what are your techniques in general for learning latvian it all started with that book i have i have it well i had a teach yourself latvian book but actually one of your students reached out to me and asked how i learned latvian and i was like well i started with this book um i'll send it to you so I sent him the book. I don't have it to wave in front of the screen anymore. Um, but I would say that what works for me is 
um, just going through the you know pretty basic um, examples in that book, kind of worksheet style things. Um, I'm big on flashcards, so I have probably made 500 to 1,000 flashcards. I, it's such a big range, I couldn't even tell you what the exact number is, but I've done at least 500 and up to 1,000, really, of these flashcards in Latvian just, and just flip back and forth and hope mm -hmm. that I know um, the general idea of the word, if not the exact word. And then, you know, there's no, there's no replacement for actually speaking it. So at, at some point, you have to actually speak it. Um, and actually, I wouldn't say I speak too much Latvian with Marta. Um, I just don't. I think I want to I want to be able to fully explain ideas with her. And I don't feel like I can do that in Latvian yet. So uh, I'm not there yet. I, I would love to get there, though. Yeah. Um, as far as speaking it, you know, I've done the group lessons with you and those were great. And I noticed this last trip to Latvia in June that conversation was flowing a lot more naturally whatever the reason is, you know, your lessons, your group lessons, or just thinking about it more, probably a combination of all three. Um, yeah. I've had a much easier time speaking Latvian lately. Well, really learning a language is a lifelong journey. Really. I can tell you that for me, I I've, I've been studying English forever <laughs> and I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm really, truly amazed and, um, uh, proud of you and happy for you. And, uh, yeah, just, um, it brings me joy to see your progress. To conclude this, um, I will ask you a very different question. If you thought of Latvians, what is the funniest thing about us that you could mention? You hinted me that you would ask this question before the uh, the <laughs> session started, and I tried to think of something. I I don't know if I have a great answer. Um, on the you know for minor things, I think it's I think it's funny when they switch up v and, v's and w's in speech like in english <laughs> yeah. um uh, i've let's just say i've i've made marta uh, a lot of meals that included vegetables so <laughs> i always find that cute and funny when that happens yeah um, i did that too <laughs> yeah um but no she's she's uh corrected that at this point but for a while it was pretty common well thank you so much for joining me tonight yeah it was great thanks yeah, and we'll see each other probably again. And bye for everyone else. Please do click the link um, and read that article. It's really, really good. Bye. See you guys. Bye.